Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. Today I'm going to show you how to rotate curtain wall grids so you're not always on a 90 degree axis. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curtain wall. I'm going to start with the storefront. I'm going to edit the type. And I'm going to create a, a square grid system. So I'm just going to duplicate this and say square or something. And here I'm just going to do a 2x2 two two system. So I'm going to leave everything the way it is. I don't want to get too crazy with that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to draw my wall. I'm doing this in the 3D view. So now you can see we've got this, this square grid system. Now what I want to do is I want to make that a uh, sort of diamond grid system. So I want to rotate these on a 45 degree angle. So it's actually very easy to do. If you select the curtain wall, there's this little, little uh, graphic in the middle. Hopefully you can see it here. It says configure grid layout. If you click that, you've actually got all these options. You can see here we've got these uh, angles. It says set angle, horizontal grid, set origin, set angle. We're just going to mess with the angle. So first we're going to click on this angle on the right hand side and click 45 degrees. It might throw a couple errors. Yeah, you see here it says some panels of current system are malformed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay for now. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing. Actually, they'll, they'll both pop up on the left hand side if you select that. So if you want to do them both, you can just say 45 and 45. Oh, too small. So let's go negative 45 and see what happens. So it was giving us error about uh, the opening is too small. Um, you can see once I once I rotated the 145, now the blue plane is shifted. So let's let's actually go backwards here. I'm going to undo until it's straight again and show you what happened. So when we select this grid, you can see how this, this blue rectangle, it's, it's a little harder to see, but there's a blue rectangle around it. It'll actually get uh, it'll actually get skewed when we rotate it to 45 degrees. If I click 45, and that's probably why it's a malformed panel. But <clears throat> there's actually a button down here that says set the justification of each grid. And if you flip it, you got 45 and now you're actually able to rotate this 45 without getting an error. So there we go, we've got a diamond grid system. Uh, and that's pretty much how you do it. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, thanks a lot.